Ash Wednesday is the perfect time for us to recall God's liberating acts through water throughout Scripture as we remember, reclaim, and reaffirm our own baptisms as well as those other landmark moments of transformation, commitment, and renewal that we have experienced on our journey of faith. And so in just a moment, I'll ask you to enter into a time of silence to remember your baptism, whether it was here in this church or another, through immersion or another mode, as a child or a youth or as an adult. And even if you have not been baptized or if you cannot remember your baptism, please take a moment to reflect on the most important experiences and watershed moments that you've had in the course of your spiritual life. Join me now in silence. God of deliverance and salvation, your spirit has been poured out upon the water, immersing us, flowing freely for all who will receive it from the streams of your saving power and justice, bringing hope to all who thirst for righteousness, refreshing life, nurturing growth, giving new life and new creation. Today we come to return our hearts to you as we remember the waters and the way in community and your holy presence, we come here to remember our professions of faith, to renew our covenant vows, to reclaim our commitments to Jesus, who has called us to follow him on the way. Just as the body is one and has many members, we, though are many, are one body. And we profess through our baptisms that in God's family there is no longer Jew or Greek, male or female, servant or free, for we are all one. God has told us what is good and what the Lord requires of us, but to do justice and to love mercy and to walk humbly with God. May this moment and this service, O oh God, be a time when we rededicate our lives to following Jesus more fully and more faithfully. We know that you are beckoning us to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have called us with all humility and gentleness, with patience bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace, because there is one body and one Spirit, just as we are called to the one hope, through one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Creator of all, who is above all, and through all, and in all. Amen. <laughs> 